and welcome to Stappen Back 2020. Uh, apologies if I didn't pronounce that right. I think it's right. It's either Stappen Back or Stappen Batch. Not 100% sure how you pronounce it. I know it is German, but that is the name of it. Uh, apparently, this map was available in FS17. Uh, I'm not 100% sure myself, never played it, but it has just been re released for um, FS19. So, basically, quick lowdown on the map before we have a look around. Uh, so, yeah, it's Stepper Back 2020. It's made by the LS Mod Company. It's available on Mod Hub for download at the moment. You do require to have the Global Company mod installed to run this map because some of the key features of the map do use it. When you first open the map and start the game for it it has a selectable farm feature so when you first come in there are four farms to choose from and basically you have to pick which farm you want to start from uh, I'll give you a rundown on the farms in just a moment uh, in total on the map there are 188 fields so there is a lot of fields on this map it is quite a sizable map six cell points it has new crops so it does have like uh, plus crops so the plus crops are alfalfa onions field grass clover carrot they are the fill uh, the ex they added extra crops to the game for it uh, alfalfa obviously is one that you see quite a lot on most maps onions is a new one for me not really seen onions before don't really see clovers very much Field grass, not too sure the difference between that and just normal grass, but I'm so sure we'll find out. And then you've got your carrots, which I've seen on a couple of maps, but not many. On top of that, it also has the ability to have the global company mod uh, sawmill for doing your wooden planks and stuff like that, if you have it installed. It's pretty good. So... If we just go into the info here, it gives you a bit of information on everything. So it has a little bit of a story. So ever since you left Stepping Back, things have gone downhill. Many farms have had to be abandoned and the economy has weakened. Return to the place where it all began. Choose one of four starting farms. Buy fields, machinery and earn money. Expand and rebuild all farms. But first, you have to demolish all buildings and cut down trees before you can create your own. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so that's sort of true, yeah. Uh, so there are four farms. So at the start of the game, you can choose on which farm you want to start. There are four starting yards. Yard 1, which... No, we haven't gone for Yard 1 at the moment. Uh, yard 1, cow yard in the heart of Stappenbach. The farm has a machinery hall and a silo in the south of Stappenbach. Farm 2, here you can breed pigs in addition to the hall and a grain silo. You have a mobile silo in the north of Stappenbach. Court 4, settle in Underhand's back. A pig farm is at your disposal. East of it you'll find a hall. And farm 4, on this farm you will find a small cow shed. You will find a silo in the south of Stappenbach. So we are currently on farm 4, which is this one. So, on here, you get like a little chicken area just here, which is quite nice. Greenery hall. Uh, I'm not too sure what's in here. I've not tried to get in. There we go. And there's your cow shed. The European style cow shed. But still very nice. All works quite well. Got machine shed with double opening doors. And on this map, you start with limited machinery, but some decent machinery. So you start off with a Fent Favorite with a front loader. The very stad Cedar. Strotman. Um, forage Wagon. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name of it then. Uh, Coon GMD441 Mower. Solid fur. Uh, applicator, Freya, both coon, 
uh, and the Russell Marsh Nova 330 Combine. You also get the pickup truck that's in the base game, the farm tech trailer, and a Silo King feed mixer. If you want to get into your cow straight away, you can do. Just get straight into it. You also have a weighing scale here. Don't know why you'd want it, but yeah, you've got a weighing scale. And you can uh, dump, your, uh, dump your stuff and everything in there as well for your silos. Not that we'd probably be doing that because that's too easy. You also get a Joskin trailer for milk and water. And as you head up for your Russell Marsh. And just round here, you have the, oh, we have the water mod installed, so that will get put in place when we can. I'm not too sure what this is. Got anything, uh, can you press anything? I'm not too sure. Don't know what that is. Uh, you also get a subsoiler there, and a dog. You got a nice little dog there too. Front loader also comes with a couple of attachments for the Fent Favorite, which is a nice little bonus and you get a silage pit which is also a nice bonus for a small farm so what we're going to do is we're just going to jump in the pickup and we're going to take a look around so let me just put my interface back on wrong button and we can see the map so currently we are trying to come out we are currently here. You can see all the icons. So this is the south, I want to say the south farm. No, this would be the south farm. This would be the north farm. And... Hold on, where's the other farm actually? Fine. Oh no, the north farm's here. Sorry. And you got the east, west and south farms. Which are all in the actual town. Um, I'm not sure why they've done that, but yeah. But basically, this is the map. It is a very sizable map, quite big. Uh, like I said, 188 fields in total. Quite a varied shapes and sizes. Quite a lot of grass fields across the middle near the river. It starts split into two sections, and if you're into your forestry, there's quite a sizable forestry area just down here. Is Pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll just take a quick drive and just have a look around the map. See what it looks like. See how it's uh, how it feels while we're driving around. Like I said, it is it's a very European styled map. Uh, best guess it is German. So there is your silo feeder. Uh, well, your silo dump, uh, dumping pit. Got a nice town. Obviously, not much to do in the actual town itself because it's not something that you really do. What we're going to do is we're going to head out of the town and just have a look at some of the fields. Uh, once we've had a look at the farms, so I think this is the east farm just here that we can get in round here, which again has chicken a chicken coop. Also, as your silo there, it's basically the same setup as the farm we were just in. It's laid out a bit differently. Each of the yards seems to be vaguely the same. Uh, you have a house here, whereas you don't have a house at the other one. Built uh, as far as I'm aware, I didn't actually notice if there was a house. Don't think there is. So, but the thing is, all of these buildings are placeable and removable. So if you did buy these yards, you can remove them and rebuild them. It's not an issue. Yeah, he just got run over. That was, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> People just getting run over on the main road because cars drive through them. Uh, and then there's the south yard, which is just this way. Go and have a look at that one. Then we'll head up to the north yard and have a look at the fields along the way. So from right, it's just around here somewhere. 
Not sure how you get into it, but we'll find out. Where is it? Gotta drive round to get into it. I think the access is on the opposite side, maybe. For the looks of it, there's another silage pit just here. In a bit of a random place. But, yeah. There's another silage pit there if you so wish to use it. Uh, if I'm right, there are two BGA plants on this map. Uh, I think there's one in the north, one in the south, so you don't have to travel all the way across the map to get to a BGA. This farmyard is in a really odd place. It's in the middle of a lot of houses. The major entrance. In a bit of an odd place, like I said. Again, same setup. You've got a chicken coop. Get your silos. I don't think that's a silage pit. I think that's a manure pit on this one. You've got a house again. Machinery hall. And then a cow shed. Around here, anything in particular? No? It's pretty basic on each yard, but like I said, you can buy them and remove all the buildings and do them up again. There are areas around the map as well that come with not like a ruin on it. Uh, it's like the, the farmyard areas with ruins on them and you can just remove the ruins and basically build your own farm if that is what you wish to do. So, always options for you to do. Plenty of options. So we'll just head up north now, have a look at some of the fields. It is a beautiful map, it's uh, been very well done. Apart from the people walking in the main road, I'm not too impressed with that. But, yeah. No, it's, it's a nice map though, it is very nice. And with the amount of fields and stuff that's sort of like been made to do. See, look. Because it's like, looking at these, they're quite decent sized fields. Yeah, they're not the biggest ones, but they are decent size, they're plenty big enough for most of your needs. They're not as small as they appear. And I wouldn't mind, they're not actually that expensive. Each field, I think, starts, at, I think the smaller ones start at around 60,000 and then they go up to like 300. Not too bad though, not too bad. So if I'm right, this is one of the Yep, one of the ruin areas that you can build a farm. So you've got some trees to clear out, and then there is a ruin in the centre just here. So that you can build your farm. Just get out and have a look. Oh yeah, cat there. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's plenty of ruins and stuff like that, so if I'm, from what I'm understanding is if you bought this plot, all this can be removed. It's all placeable, so you can remove it. Another toy cat, well, that's uh, <laughs> a bit different. Uh, yeah, so all this can be removed. You can just take all these ruins out and turn this into an actual farm plot, which is something that we will possibly do in a Let's Play. Work our way up to that. Oh, I'm blocking traffic. Uh, get out of the way. But yeah, that's one of the ruin sites, so you can build your own farm to, to work towards. Would be nice. Um, not too sure what that's all about. That's a bit different. That is different. Yeah, some of the fields are relatively small, but some of them are, like that one there, it's relatively decent size. It would still take you a while with a, a smallish combine to harvest that. It's not too bad. Like I said, it's not the biggest, not the smallest. 
And here is the BGA. Or one of them at least. So it looks like this might be next to a ruined site for a farm as well. Another ruined site, something to look at. And it comes with your silos. There's one, two, three and four decent sized silos for doing your silage in. Again, very nice. You've got your outpipe for your um, digestate. Is it again good? And I think there's another area for another farm over here. Just drive through it. With a little bridge just there. Yeah, another ru ruining area for a farm. That you can convert. Definitely something we'll be looking at doing in a Let's Play. Taking over one of these ruined areas, buying it and doing it up. Definitely uh, something that will be entertaining. Get out of here. And here is the North Farm. So theoretically, if you bought the North Farm, you could just buy that ruin site there and then extend your farm across the road into that. That would be quite a nice setup. Uh, seeing though the others are all in the town, which is a bit meh. But what can you do? So, there's like a little markers on the floor for your uh, flurry and such. I mean, it's basically the same setup as the other farms again. Picking coop and machinery hall. And a cow shed. Or pig shed, whichever one it is. And your machinery hall is just here. This one is a bit different, the looks of it. Or is this a cell point? No, this is a cell point for your wood chips, it looks of it. Where's the machinery hall on this farm? Oh, there it is. Oh, so this one you get a little bit more with. So you've got the uh, your cow or pig shed, whichever one that is there. Then you have a little storage shed around there. And you get the machinery shed here. And then... I think this has pa oh I think this has pigs and cows. This looks like your pig shed, and you get another storage area up here. So if you did get the north farm, you would get a lot more for your money when you're starting off. This is the bigger field, uh, bigger area of the map, rather than going for the central one. Not too sure which one we're going to go for yet. Not fully decided. I've not started anything for the Let's Play yet. This is just the first look. So, we've had a look around there now. We've had a quick look at the grass fields in here and up here. But this is not a lot to look at down here. But what we could do is we'll just go and quickly have a look at the forest area and see what's that. Let's see what that's like. So we're just coming through the south of the map now. Just gone past the town. This is where some of the other fields are. Very rural. He's done a good job of sort of traversing it between the two. Oh, you've got head on traffic here. This could be a bit awkward if you bring in a combine. Ooh. Yeah, this is uh, not the most ideal situation. Having it on traffic coming at you. And looking at it, there is our forestry area. If I'm right, this is clover just here. Let's have a clover or alfalfa, not too sure. Cotton there. But yeah, this is our forestry area we're looking at here. Quite idyllic, really. Uh, very nice. I like the entrance to it. So just coming through the field. Uh, like a pathway through the fields. Looks good. That is a lot of trees. Definitely be doing some forestry on here. Definitely going to be doing some of that. Go and have a quick nose it in here. 
but this is the thinner part of the area because this backs right onto the edge of the map. Oh, that's nice. Fallen tree. That's uh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, you could definitely make something of this, but it look it does look like there's some kind of yard in the middle of the map. Well, of the not the map, in the middle of the. Or, oh, my awful driving skills again. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's some kind of yard over there in the forest somewhere. Unless it's just a big rock. We'll go and check it out, though. We'll definitely go and check it out. Because the road seems to take you all the way around. Go and have a quick look. See if we can get to it. Is it a big rock or is it some kind of yard? Uh, it's a big rock. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big rock that. But saying that though, what you could potentially do, because of it being such a large map and there being so many fields, if you wanted Ooh We're caught up. I did not see that. See if we can get off it. Oh it's got us stuck. <laughs> So, be careful when driving through the forest, there are ninja logs waiting to grab you. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a uh, very, very nice forestry area, this. I've not, honestly, apart from on an, a dedicated forestry map, I don't think I've seen one like this before. Totally different, but yeah, what I was saying before is because there's so many fields on this map, you could, theoretically, convert one of the fields just on the edge of the forestry area to a yard or sort of like a forestry platform for you to work from you know oh like even if you just came here cut down some of these trees you can most definitely make some kind of yard to base yourself from you definitely do that now let's just make his way out of the forest and I'll let you guys look at the scenery Well, that's pretty much it for stepping back guys I'll give you all the information I have on it we will be doing a let's play on this so we will get to see the map a bit more in detail I'm gonna try and buy some fields that are a bit dotted around the map so that we can explore a little bit go to different areas of the map and just have a proper look around but that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you again soon and bye for now.